called the Magi and ascertained from them the time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make careful search for the child. And when we have found him, report to me that I too may come and worship him. And having heard the king, they went their way. And lo, the star which they had seen in the east went on before them until it came and stood over where the child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And they came into the house and saw the child with the mother, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. And opening their treasures, they presented to him gifts of gold, of frankincense, and that name that I can't pronounce. And having been warned by God in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their own country by another way. Yeah. Now, when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. And he arose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt and was there until the death of Herod that what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet might be fulfilled, saying, Out of Egypt did I call my son. Then when Herod saw that he had been tricked by the Magi, he became very enraged and sent and slew all the male children who were in Bethlehem and in all environs. From two years old and under, according to the time which he had ascertained from the Magi. Then that which was spoken through Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled, saying, A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and great moaning. Rachel weeping for her children, and she refused to be comforted because they were no more. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the child and his mother and go into the land of Israel, for those who sought the child's life are dead. And he arose and took the child and his mother, and they came to the land of Israel. But when he heard, this is Joseph now, when he heard that Achilles was reigning over Judah in place of his father, Herod, he was afraid to go there. And being warned by God in a dream again, he departed for the regions of Galilee and came and resided in a city called Nazareth, that what was spoken through the prophets might be, might be fulfilled. He shall be called a Nazarene, precious Holy Spirit. What a long read, but I bless you for it. May you speak to our lives. May you convict us. May you embrace us. And may you continue to love us unconditionally. To the name of God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to run. I'm just going to run. Um, I know that I read the whole chapter. I didn't prepare nobody that I was going to read the whole chapter, amen. And yet my focus is on Herod having to die. The topic is a very simple topic. It says the Lord protects. His vision that he gives to his people, his servants. You might be a servant, as in the fivefold, or you could just be a servant of God who has a mission in the marketplace, those that were here on Friday. The topic says God will protect the vision until Herod dies. Your amen is hungry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, now no one is, is reading anything, right? Just allow me to talk. Amen. 
Let me help you talk. Let me help you. Let's, 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 let's journey. In the book of Psalms, I think if I'm not mistaken, and God I know always forgives me by not knowing precisely where to get his word. But if it is not in Psalms 18, verse 21, it would be 21:18. It says, what can the righteous do unless the foundations be broken? Which means we are, there are people that are called the people of God. There are people that are called, these are the righteous of God. Hallelujah. But the righteous cannot do much unless their foundations are in order. So all I'm saying is, you might... Find yourself being in the field with the animals longer than you should be because the foundations are not fixed. Oh, I'm going to give you a very nice word. It's going to be so balanced. It sounds like it's negative. It's not negative. You see, until we journey with the blockages, we may never understand why we are not ruling. Amen. So, we may not, we may struggle if we are not aligned with God. We may take longer to reign and rule because Herod is alive. And we cannot underestimate the importance of the mess that Herod is likely to bring into our lives because if it was not going to be a mess Jesus would not have commanded the parents of Jesus to remove him I want you to preach with me so that while we are sitting there you must understand that you are a soldier in the, in the army of God. Amen. So, <clears throat> you know what's interesting? This word I was given, I said the other day that there is no power that is like this gadget. I was given this word on the 19th of July, 2017. I've never preached it because it was not the time. I love these gadgets. You write things, you get given things by God. The second, the time gets recorded. Hallelujah. And when you modify it, it still will have the original date. But it was never necessary. Now, that was July 2017. Amen. And when 2019, and God says, it is the beginning of the year. There are people that ought to arise and occupy their seats. But Herod is not wanting to die. And I'm saying today, I have possibly come with all authority invested in my life as a servant of the living God that Herod is in the cemetery. But let me not get excited. I'm not going to go back to the scripture and make reference word for word. I'm just going to talk to us. That look at how smart the enemy is. These innocent people that are, those that were here on Friday will know why the astrologers or the Maggie happened to have known and have been in a position to interpret the star. And because there is no money to pay, I'm not going to go there. You, you were not there. <laughs> it's amazing how you know you can just put salt on a wound. You keep on putting the salt on the wound. So that it goes, amen. 
Look at how smart the enemy is. These men are looking for the star because there is an understanding that the birth of this ruler, I was looking at how the presentation of Jesus is not at a level where you, you, you would have expected. I, I am expecting the word to say uh, that the one who is going to be born, uh, who is going to be the Messiah, but he is being referenced in the scripture as the ruler of Israel. Amen. It plants in the minds of the Jews uh, that indeed uh, they are going to demand of him uh, or they are going going to be expecting him to rule them in the flesh and yet he was not a king of the flesh but yet to come and establish power over the flesh and yet his power would have only reigned and ruled at the spirit realm but his flesh had to be crucified amen how they go to the king and they say, hi, we are here. I can tell you that they were taken very seriously in those days for them to have had an audience. Amen. The Bible says, they tell the king that we are here because we are following a star. A king is born and we want to know, we want to we wanna go find the child who is born. And the king listens. And when he listens, he presents a picture that looks like it is interested. I'm interested in your life. I just want to make sure that you know you just go, you get better and you just get better. Oh, oh, little do you know that you are sitting with and the person who's listening is a herald. And the herald is saying, give me the detail. Go look for the baby. And once you find the baby, come present the, 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 the details to me so that I also can go and worship this king. His name is Lucifer. He is the father. He is the fountain of all lies under the sun. And when he presents the lie, he has a very smooth tongue. Remember, he was a worshiper. So he knows how to present a matter looking at you right in your cute. What is this black thing? Your iris. He looks at you right in the eye and says, how I wish above all you could also prosper. And then in the book of Proverbs, Solomon, is it Solomon the writer, says, you see, there is a scripture that gets mistaken. The word of God, I don't know what it is. Bless Jesus for Google. Yo, Google Iboza. Google and Jesus, they need each other. Because they knew there was going to be a human being like me. This word of God says, don't be too excited. When somebody calls you and says, let us dine together. Because Logugutla is on the table. But when the invitee do not know what the man is saying as you are eating. And then personality out of the abundance. So we are thinking that out of the abundance uh, is always coming from a good heart. The abundance can also come from a Herodias heart. Herod was a king. He had no business to be intimidated. When the identity is vertically aligned, when the identity in your life as to who you are has been sharpened, you will have no problem to give praise. You will have no problem to elevate somebody else. You will have no problem to bless somebody else because you don't have a problem about who you are. So this is how the enemy works. If it is young people, believe you me, all ages are taken care of. 
Let me repeat. All ages are taken care of. The baby we're talking about was less than a month old. At the, at the following of the star, he was just born. At the engagement of this king and the Maggie, the child is somewhere in some little town. He's already born. But already there is a, a conniving that does not wait for the child to be a year. It does not wait for the child to be even... I don't even think Mama Kebo had cut the, 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 the cord. And the enemy says, tell me, I also want to go and, and bow down. He knew very well that he had no interest I want to tell you, as you are sitting there, all of you, including myself, if we are thinking that the next person sitting next to you has much interest in you, you are lost. Now I know I sound controversial. I say to you, don't be fooled. It has to be Jesus first. That takes care of you. Uye na yetwa. O okala yongawe. Uye na yetwa. O katalele. Uye na yetwa. O was your plan. Uye na yetwa. That wants to keep that plan. It's Jesus. So he's wanting us. To correct the identity. By so saying, I am not saying that look at the person next to you with uh, squint eyes. I didn't say that. But you can look at them with squint eyes. If you like. But what I'm saying is, so that you do not burden. I feel like not I'm talking to the people who are committed. So that you do not burden the poor guy. You do not burden the poor woman. They have no answer to fix when. Only Jesus can fix you. Only Jesus knows what he hid inside of you. Don't look at them. When the flowers came, hallelujah. When the flowers don't come, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. When the gifts are given, I bless Jesus. When the gifts are not there, it does not mean anything. I don't diminish because there are no gifts coming from the next person. The Lord sometimes allows us to go through pain so that we can help you. Huh? You see, I'm here on this pulpit. Hey, one and get sufficient. Oh, no, I need, I need no, I have no need for no one buying me anything. When I need, I take. The, the bag and I march to a shop. Hey, I say, Simbawami, Siotangan in Amsanche. Hallelujah! Is it not good to be blessed? Of course it is. But you don't now have to be all uh, your. Uh, Utwalum Tualo, that is not necessary. Hallelujah! If she cannot buy you a gift, believe you me, what are the chances that she's coming from a family where gift buying was never practiced? And we have judged her. You have said she's stingy, she's selfish, she thinks of herself only. When you, you, you just married a woman where gift doing was not a doing at all. I want to take it down further because there never was much to give from. But what have you and I done? We've judged and 
crucified and failed to resurrect it because it does not have life. Amen. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? The enemy uses even people that are in power Sometimes I would sit, some years back, I would sit and think, what would I do if I could be in a very powerful position? Because it's very easy to keep on saying, here are millions. Now your budget, a couple of billions, is under your management. What would you do? Can God trust you? Because if you cannot answer that question, then I think, let us go back. If my people that are called by my name could humble themselves, who are those people? It's you that is born of the blood of Jesus. So I'm saying that we forget the real mandate and we get into the world and we speak like the world. And yet, the Bible says you and I must come and humble ourselves. Daniel went back to God. He was not praying for his own mess. He was praying for a whole nation that was lost. Hallelujah. It is time the body of Jesus arises and come to the altar and say, Lord, I am identifying with the sins of Africa. Or let me tell you, whether you like it or not, you are a murderer. Let me repeat. If we are on the African soil, we are lying to ourselves when we say we are not murderers. Our forefathers on the soil killed too many innocent people. I'm talking about the African soil now. And that does not exclude South Africa. And the question is, do you know that that blood, Lisa Wuzwagoo, which means you need to arise and say, Lord, I am identifying with all wickedness. In South Africa, and say, I'm identifying Lord, in this land, because you cannot be given the audience of God when you come before God as a church. You will not have the audience of God, you will not have this audience. Because it says on what grounds to charge the people that have, are in wickedness. Have you one day prayed for them? Have you one day fasted for them? Have you one day wept? I don't remember you. Your cup is empty of tears for the people that are ruling this land in this continent. But we have a judgment book. And yet I'm the only judge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? I am saying to us, the plans to frustrate us are put in place the day we come out of our mother's wombs. Hallelujah. The Herod, all the Herod needs is the sperm and the egg meeting. Once that happens, Herod starts right there creating abortions you must lose this baby you must lose this baby up until you thinking you know what i'll never have children it is not because your womb is not capable your womb is capable the seed is proper but the two of you are not aware that there are foundations that the herald is in the house and the herald is wicked and the herald does not want no seed hallelujah but you know 
But in Zomchela and Amsanj, I've come to announce to Herod that you see, if he could not abort you, if he could not abort you when you were in your mother's womb, if he could not cause you to commit suicide when it was a chance in life, if he could not make you to kill yourself, if he could not kill you in that car, if he could not kill you in that poison, if he could not kill you on that operation bed, if he could not, he cannot find you any longer. He could not. I came to announce. I say I came to announce uh, that there are giants in this house uh, that are about to arise uh, because I have come to announce uh, that 2019 uh, the Herod uh, is uh, dying. Hallelujah. Now the truth of the matter is I don't know what Herod is in your life. But look at how, look at how this thing gets so crazy. And, and, I, and I, I always wonder, that is why sometimes I just think Christians are very dodgy. Because they want to read the word that suits them. When circumstances are dire, then they say, who has bewitched me? Hey, hey, let me remind you. Pella Joseph is from a whole clan of brothers. And he keeps on dreaming like Uma. Keep on dreaming. What dreams? He keeps on dreaming. He keeps on sharing. And the more he shares, the more jealousy arises in the hearts these are not half brothers these are from the same daddy they're from the same daddy but they have a problem with their brother and one day when they are out in the field the father says go and give your brothers this food they, they he goes and as he's coming from afar they begin to say aha here comes the dreamer what an opportunity. Helena, these were not next door. They were from the same house. When the father is sending the boy, he's sending two brothers that slept in the same house. But the coat that the daddy made has already begun to be a problem. Uh, so what am I saying? The enemy will connive will we'll plan and put things so as he comes they say we are killing him and from killing him the other one says no let's not kill him i am saying from killing him then they throw him in an empty cistern and the empty cistern means that it had no water and then there is, they see merchants coming and when they see these merchants coming they say no let's take him out and the other brother says let there be no blood in our hands and they all agree yes let there be no blood but let us sell him we don't want him around us He's our brother, but we don't want him around us. They sell him after they have sold him. This, guy, this thing doesn't stop. The, the, the guy is carrying grace. I say the guy is carrying vision. The guy is carrying something. It is not by any other reason that they are fighting him. They are fighting what is inside. We have a super Joseph. Hallelujah. Oh, child of God, may we arise and see with the eyes of our understanding that when we are pursued, it is not personal. How? How? 
Hallelujah. They blooded the coat. They have to lie to the Father. But, but I am saying this afternoon that God in the power of Holy Spirit is going to allow your enemies uh, to redevise the plan uh, so that uh, you cannot be caught uh, in the trap uh, where it was set for you. <sighs> we kill him. No, we don't. We sell him. Yes, we do. From the pit to the palace and from the palace to the pit to prison and from prison back to the palace and from the palace to government. If both Shagan Pil, if you were smart, Ewan, I call you on land. This thing looks like a snake. No. It's the body of the snake. The real snake has, has maneuvered itself out, but it must shed all. Huh? Now we must uh, do all sorts of funny things because we're in trials and tribulations. But our trials and tribulations are for the body of Christ. They make us strong. They make, her to, they make us to persevere. They make us to be bold to stand against the devices of the enemy. The trials and tribulations are not meant to kill you, child. But they are meant to make you strong. So that Jehovah God can manifest in your life. Don't be bothered how many times you divorce and you remarry. It's possible that it's a bad choice right there, but it's okay. Huh? When they laugh at you and they ridicule you, when Rakshang at two feet, hallelujah, you don't, you, you don't become personal. Now I'm speaking like this because I'm strong. But even if I wasn't, I, I just went through jazz and I'm still going on. And you think me, I will collapse. Mina, collapse because of trials that are preparing me to be stronger. That I'm going to ride and run like a horse. Elabayandabokoreke. Ah! Not having money is temporary. Not having food is temporary. Huh? Not being happy is also temporary. It is a seasonal thing. Today you are happy. Tomorrow you are not very happy. Does it mean that you will be all the rest of your life uh, remain in an unhappy zone? Of course not. I choose to be happy. I choose to choose the word. I choose to choose the word of power because it is the word and I choose not to look with my naked eyes. Herod is not far. Okay? So can we be happy with that? Huh? I also call it a Herodus spirit. Sometimes it can be right in you. And it is determined to frustrate not the other person, you. It's a Herodia spirit that I loathe with my all. It's a cocky spirit. It's a killer spirit. It is after visions. It is after the purposes of God. It is after what is pure and holy. 
it is after what you you were given even before you were conceived in your mother's womb the devil knows the assignment that is hidden in the body the church the bride of the living god hallelujah so when he frustrates you it is not personal he is afraid of the mandate of god that is risen inside of you and if he can crush it he will crush it he will confuse the identity if it means uh, he will use your mother to crush it uh, he will use her hallelujah so can you stop being angry at your children but what you have to do is what you have to do is what you have to do because what you have to do it's too much. It's too much. But the problem with us, we don't want to go through the process. Hallelujah. If we do, we want the shortcut with no training. When you read the reason why God took the Israelites 40 years, he says, if I make them go through here quick, these ones, when they meet a war across, uh, ahead of them, he says, if I make this mistake of allowing Prophet Cindy to go through the wide big gates, skeletless, She will begin to be a skelem here and teach my people skelems here. I need to deal with the skelem that is in her. And she takes me through the long winding and I'm like, how does it wind? She says, shut up, skelem. I still an hour until skelem in you is gone. Hallelujah. Because if the skelem is not dealt with, I will be a skelem right here. And the enemy will begin to teach me how I must speak so that the skeletonism is maintained. Hallelujah. All I'm saying is sometimes the Herodias spirit is in us. And the Lord says, let her go through the journey. Let him go through the journey so that she is solidified her spiritual muscles, his spiritual muscles are strengthened in the might and in the power of Jehovah God. Then you become a weapon that God will trust to use. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord says to Abraham, I will bless you and I shall make you a blessing. Amen. The covenant that God makes with Moses, he says, I will honor the covenant. So God honors the covenant that he sets with you and your life and your purpose. He honors it. That is why you can be in a car accident and people are die. They die left, right, and center. And you stand up, you are stindied. And when the paramedics and, and, and everything else comes, they look at you, they don't understand. How did you make it? The Lord protects his plan and purpose in our lives. Mm. I was in a car accident. Six people died. I was in the front seat. The one this side died. That was just torn. And I said, oh, my bang, bang. It was the time of bang bangs. My stretch jeans. Bang bang. Amen. That's the only thing I was worried about. Amen. But when I looked at myself in the mirror, when my sister came with my dad at the hospital where we were admitted, we could not reach our destination. 
the, the kumba, I don't know whether cousin slept and it rolled and it just, nine people just died. I was sitting on blood. I was seeing heads. I was seeing legs there. I, I didn't know if my whole body was complete. What am I saying? When you are carrying something inside of you, God will preserve you. God will preserve you. It's not about sin all the time. It is about purpose. Hallelujah. Even the sin, I want to address it because it thinks it has power. Even the sin that, that, that follows you, uh, it's not in vain. Hallelujah. So you find yourself having one and the same weakness. What is the problem? You are a worshiper and you are a problem in the atmosphere. And the enemy says, Worshippers are always known for being very weak on their belt. Huh? If it is a lady, the skirts, what, what is your worshipper? You are already in trouble. So you need to know these things. That the enemy targets and, 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 and makes you synonymous with a particular scene so that you lose your identity. You forget that you are a God. You are above sin. You forget that he died. And because he died, that blood is still sufficient. Oh, in your sad state. And, and no, negotiating and groveling over God. You don't grovel. You stand your ground. You stand your position. And you say, I know who I am. I know who I am. I am a peculiar person. I'm peculiar from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I'm carrying the mandate of Jehovah. I'm called to bless people because I am blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. I will bless them because the Lord has blessed me. Amen. Trials and tribulations. Let me tell you, no one is interested to know. Oh. That is why even these uh, so-called people that see they, they must now use everything huh? they must use everything to convince you that they are seeing good that they are seeing they are seeing zero good that is why they can follow you on facebook and they prophesy based on the Facebook content. It has gone so low. You know what, darling? Run to the altar. Run to Jesus. Eh? You are safe when you are in Jesus. Hallelujah. Do you blame them? No. Bafuni singo. They call you a market. <laughs> you are a market. Can we speak like people that gone, have gone to school? You are a market. You are a market. Do you blame them? They're smarter than you. You are sitting there going borrowing from Tom to come and bless. Credit card to come and bless. The Bible says we shall not owe no man, but we must owe men one thing, love. How much love do you have? How much love do I have? Hallelujah. 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 Look at how bloody it becomes. Huh? Innocent babies are killed. It is as, as if Herod is prophetically activating what is to come on this Jesus. 
that he's going to die a dying or a death on the cross. He will be killed. He kills so many babies when he realizes that the Maggies have tricked him and they're not going to come back and give him the story. Let's ask for now. But there is a book I love in Isaiah. My heart always just got locked in it. It is in Isaiah 43, 4. It says, I will give other men in your place and others' lives in exchange for your life. Listen to that. When you are carrying a mandate and we have said yes to the mandate, Unkulunkulu exchanges your life You walk in a boardroom. They've already prepared the tea for you. They know where you sit. The tea is already there. But for some strange reason, you come late to occupy your seat. And when you get there, the tea is cold. And you say to the person, can, can you make me a fresh cup of tea? There was something in the tea. God! Ah! <sighs> You are in your office and you are late. You know you must be leaving home. But some, for some strange reason you are just delayed. A couple of minutes as you are on the car, in the car, on your way home, you are listening to the news. On the same street where you are going is the fattest and the biggest accident. God says I will exchange. In Bilo Zabanye. To preserve when I will exchange, and it does not mean that it, that is not an empty exchange, it means real life, real life, it means real life. Hey Amen. We are going next door. So, your car, how, how it was you. And the enemy misread the address. It was you. And the enemy missed the pronunciation of your surname. The enemy missed all your full names. And because he missed all your full names, there are five cities in the same street. He must now guess for Cindy. And Ngulungulu Ati, go to Cindy number two. And Cindy, I'm on number five. Hallelujah. The Lord is our keeper. He is our shelter. He is answerable to every life that is in this house right now. Provided you are wanting to work with him and be on his side. Hallelujah. I'm going to finish now. Let me tell you where the heralds are. The heralds that were after Jehovah reigns are in the cemetery. I say every herald that was after Jehovah reigns forever is in the cemetery. What is a symmetry? A symmetry is a place where dead people eight to be in Oksana Hope six feet under covered with soil and on top of soil stones and after that these days we've been organized concrete and we build this thing I say the enemies of Jehovah reigns are in the cemetery. You yeah, wonder if you're a real Jehovah reign, you'll say amen. I say the cemetery of the pursuers of the mandate of God are already in the cemetery. People like it when you personalize it. Your pursuers, your heralds are in the cemetery. That is why you are alive. I say I came to announce 
that the heralds that have been harassing us when they are not harassing us in life they are harassing us financially they are harassing us in our relationships they are harassing us in ministries they are harassing us in the calling of god they are harassing us with children they are harassing us with bonds but i say those things are in the cemetery I mean, everything that was harassing me in 2018, I'm not available. Well, I've left it by the cemetery. A cemetery is a place that carries dead strategies. A cemetery is a place where Herod waits and waits, hoping that the Maggie are going to come back with the details of where the son, the ruler Jesus, is born. And they wait up until their eyesight go dim. And Jesus says, Go the other way, my daughter. Go the other way, my son. Hallelujah. What am I saying? 2019, you don't want to be stupid. If you're thinking your Herod loves you, you are a fool. I want you to know that. You don't need no prophet. You are just stupid. And the stupid people, they die like me. The Bible says they die like me, man. I don't know about you. Dead strategies. But they will devise one. And one fails. And they go to plan number two. I came to proclaim in the spirit realm that the devices of the enemy against the church of the living God, the devices of the antichrist spirit the devices of the herodias spirit i came to announce jehovah god that today they are going to check in the cemetery in the name of jesus they've got to check in the cemetery in the name of jesus because if they don't check in the cemetery it means they are alive and they are going to continue tormenting your life so you better help me and say let us drag them to where they belong and that is the cemetery 2019 is a year of encountering the holy spirit it is a year of flying on his wings it is a year of being embraced it is a year of tasting your purpose 2019 now the heralds must go because they love no purpose Sambulo, the heralds must go they love no purpose they want you to just sing here uh -huh. and no one ever gets to know you and then you play in church come on now come on now you do funny things in church it's called the Herodia spirit it is destructive so that the word is nullified hallelujah in the cemetery are strategies that have been paid for imali our sebens and the awazuk seben if they were working, they would have long worked. I want you to see this thing. If they were meant to work, they would have long worked in you. But they keep on falling. Huh? And then they say, no man, go to Mozambique. Mozambique. Try for hours. We went to Mozambique. We work on a life. What do you get there? It's Cooper's Namans. And then what do you do with it? They say, yes, wash, wash. It's a impartial in land. Kalaba Shatana. I guess Slavani. It's a impartial in land. 
wetu setua ke sanje ai sebenzi nganti palmo leaf ai man this thing ibamba na manda ba ne phd le nkhuluma ngayo manje can you get tripled by a guy who does not fear god he sasses you out he can see you don't fear god and he begins to say i have to see you privately i have a word for you but like a red then they run wait for me who women of god in a word for me i have a word for you i have a word i have a word i have a word i have a word Eh uh, then when you are thinking you are hearing the word you are hearing the word then you are hearing thou shall prosper Amara you did you have to call me aside to tell me that I will prosper the bible says I will prosper the word of god says I will prosper hallelujah i did not require a private one on one because i know that the private one on one comes with an envelope Kalaba shatana Oh the devil is in trouble They that are born of the spirit I close the envelopes that are demanded from altars of darkness and they are presented to people that are owing school fees I'm shutting the envelopes where does wealth come from where does wealth come from do we believe it is jesus do we believe that the answers are from him or do we believe that we must be broke because of dirty and silly private envelopes these days i've even gotten to a point where it's like i'm beginning to hate money I begin to ask where is it coming from? You are feeding me with what? Where is it coming from? What is this? What is this? What is this? People are without school fees. Children without school uniforms. Se sivan ka kibo mashonis. To borrow money and the money is not going to go pay that debt. It is going so that we must honor this word. Thou shall not come empty-handed before the the hand of the face of a prophet. I don't know what that meant. It has been abused from corner to pillar. Is it not a good thing to bless a servant? Of course it is. But how is the blessing? Is it a blessing that is genuine or is it a blessing that is demanded from a Herodias spirit that wants to have what you have so that it kills your dreams, it kills your identity. It will kill your spiritual identity. because it must present an uh, a, a picture that says uh, outside this holy blessing that is in me the vessel you are doomed among allow among yes sis the people of god will prosper they that love jesus will prosper that whose hope is in jesus will prosper Hallelujah. The Lord is for you child of God. He is for you because he knows why you were born. You could not be aborted. You could not be killed. The Lord knows why he has kept you. So that you can become a blessing. How many of us here have reached a state of being a blessing? We need to arise and say I I I have Gay demand and go today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, some of you you just take those envelopes without prayer. You cover the envelopes in the blood of Jesus. And you say may I not be accessible Lord Jehovah. Ande koraba shatara buzaya. 
The Herods are dead. Including the one that is inside of you. The, the Herod that is inside. That keeps on whispering. You will never amount to anything. Hey, now it's not someone else. It's just the one that is inside. It keeps on saying you are not man enough. You are not woman enough. You are not a nice coco. You are not a nice mama. It looks for all the rubbish that it can dump on you so that your power suffocates and it diminishes and you lose who you are. Then it says, now that you have lost who you are, Google the people in the region that have answers. And they don't tell us that they're not even in Yangas. But they know they won't be written here. Uh, the one thing they know though is that there is money in your pocket. And that money will be left. Offering. Offering. This carpet is not nice. Unless you are wearing jeans. I say this carpet is a glimmer. Take your offering in boldness and say, I'm bringing it before the King of Kings. I'm bringing it to the King of Glory. He will receive me as I am because it's not the offering that's going to change. But we are under twisted people. I bless God because I've seen right here. You know, people will hook up from there. Nenzani. Okay, help me. The, the, the instruction was simple. Put the money by the feet. High corner. When they are next to the feet, there is a hookering, there is a falling. You, sometimes I would be, I would sweat, um, I promise you now, I would be sitting there and I would be saying, right there, even that falling is a lie from the pit of hell. It's all performance. May you not be ridiculed to the degree that your identity, your being a man, your being a sound woman of God, your being a giant of God in the spirit, may be no man. I want to proclaim this afternoon. No man must ever access you. No man must raise themselves above you. Ah, no man must raise themselves above you except be Jehovah that raises you up hallelujah hallelujah touch touch konalani prayer man Jesus is Lord let me run I want to finish now I came to remind the Herodias spirit that it's over it needs to go I am proclaiming that it is going in the name of Jesus. The Herodias spirit that has been fighting the purposes of God over your life, I am saying it must check out. I don't know about you, I have had enough. I have had enough, I have fasted enough, I have prayed enough, I have given enough, I have done enough sacrificial offerings. Yet Jehovah, wake up from the boat. Don't you see that the enemy is right here? I'm done. And I'm rising up to purpose. Rising up to purpose. Rising up to purpose. Inside of you is the Spirit of God. The whole Trinity is sitting right there. It is waiting for you to converse. I came to tell the Herodias spirit that has been harassing your bodies. Sometimes the spirit comes in the form of sickness and disease. I came to announce that you did not and you could not kill them because you are a wrong spirit in a wrong body. Appella, the spirit must be told. You see your bodies 
are carrying the spirit of life uh, that revives your inner man uh, that revives your mortal man uh, if it revives your mortal man uh, then the Herodia spirit uh, the killing spirit uh, the sickness and disease spirit uh, is illegally occupying uh, and I want you and I to agree that today let it check out Shalabandeke by their stripe by his stripes i was healed by his stripes we were healed the word of god when it enters the party it revitalizes it makes a 52 year old to look like i'm just 45 there is power in jesus there is power in the holy spirit tell that sickness tell that disease it needs to check out because it has overstayed that body does not belong to it it belongs to the healer his name is jesus he works with the power the administrator of the power of heaven in the name of holy spirit I command every growth in every part of our bodies they need to check out every growth needs to check out every migraine needs to check out every bone disease must check out every brain disease it must check out because we have the word to pull down strongholds of funny imaginations There are no suits that were buying in 2019 for funerals. I'm buying no new dress for no funeral. The children of God must leave to proclaim the power, the power of the healer, the power of the deliverer. You need to be healed so that you can tell someone that jesus healed me and you will be healed as well jesus delivered me you are looking at a woman who has been delivered by god i have authority to tell demons to check out in your lives because i told them to check out in my life I walk here knowing very well that the demonic is powerless when you raise the blood the demonic is powerless when you raise the sword which is the word of God the demonic is powerless when you raise prayer the demonic is powerless when you raise love they what is this dance you want to kill the demons raise love oh the devil is in trouble the heredia spirit it was defeated more than 2000 years jesus. it still could not kill baby jesus and because it could not kill him Hallelujah. how must it kill you All we need to do is to arise hallelujah all we need to do is to arise hallelujah and confess our real identity huh. oh i love jesus you see god doesn't work with what is perfect yeah i love him i love him because he knew that when one day you would you would meet me and I will tell you that you are not measured by your failures. Oh, I failed too many times. I said I failed too many times. I, I grappled with life too many times. I have never proclaimed to be perfect. And I love Jesus. Because the more we look at a thing and we say it does not qualify, 
That is when he qualifies it. That is when he qualifies it. Hallelujah. The demons in your house are in trouble. I say the demons that were following you, when you came here, they are in trouble. I say the demon of the region, the demon of your workplace are in trouble. Let me tell you that workplaces are territories. Present her and daughter before God. Present her the men before God. Present her the men before God. And say, Lord, it's 2019. It is my time to occupy. It is my time. Lord, give me the strategy on how to, to bring that chair. Quickly bring that chair. Quickly. Give me the strategy on how. On how. Give me the strategy on how. Give me the strategy on how. Because if it does not fall, you are not going to occupy. Tell sickness and disease. It has to be on the floor so that you can stand up and go and preach the gospel hallelujah how can you preach when you are sick how can you preach when you are poor the voice of the poor is voiceless shorabaka You can be very smart, but if Labafana Beko, you are voiceless. So I came to tell the Herodias that has been killing your finances. I don't know about you. I am commanding billions. I want billions because schools must be built, because nations must be built. Kalaba Shalabo Korababa. The Lord is mighty. The Lord is strong. The Lord is all we need. When we have Jesus, we have power. Yes, it takes a bit of waiting. But a bit of waiting says, you become the inheritors of the world. You become the inheritors of the land. They that wait upon the Lord. They shall eat of the goodness of the land, which means we shall plow and there shall be fruit. We shall plow and there shall be multiplication. Oh, oh, you know when the mama spoke of the three angels that he saw, hallelujah. I began claiming, I don't know, maybe let me keep quiet. But I know precisely what I claimed, that this is how quick this is going to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where are the heralds? They are futile. They are futile. All their strategies about your life has not worked. And the angel comes as I close. And it says to Joseph, there are men who are honorable before God. Can I repeat? I say there are men who are honorable before God. Where God can trust the man to hide the vision of God. Instead of protecting, embracing, nurturing, they are the ones strategizing how to kill. I came to announce that every strategist that the enemy assigned over my life, today is the day of burial in the spirit realm, not by might nor by power, but by the Holy Spirit. Every strategist in the form of a man, in the form of a woman, 
in the form of trials in the form of tribulations you know i love isaiah 54 somewhere god says my daughter henceforth for a little while i was angry with you because you were naughty but henceforth whoever pursues you this one is for you i can feel it i felt it right there i say whoever is pursuing you i say whoever is pursuing you in this season he is pursuing god himself he is pursuing god himself whoever is pursuing you will see stars whoever is pursuing you hey whoever is pursuing you will see stars because the masses of god oh they do run out they do run out they do run out i don't know who is pursuing you i say i don't know but every evil pursuer that do not have their own divine mandate and they're pursuing what God has hidden inside of you. I came to proclaim that by the power of the blood of Jesus, I pour the blood on top of their written strategies. I open the graves where your names have been placed and put, and I superimpose the blood of Jesus over the blood of animals. every sacrificial offering that has been done on your behalf uh, without your authority without your knowledge uh, that is stepping to the grace uh, that is stepping to who you are i came to announce uh, that dove uh, arise now uh, the blood of jesus when you read the book of Exodus, it says all them that were purchased by the blood they crossed over you and I crossed over into 2019 we crossed over into 2019 it is not a mistake I want you to stand up I want you to stand up hallelujah I want you to stand up yes in the physical hallelujah you are mightier than you think you are dangerous than you know you are a weapon the Lord Almighty the Lord Almighty. The Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. 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 Blood got spilled. But it was in, uh, prophetically speaking, to the blood of Jesus. I stand here, we stand here, purchased by a sinless blood. We have all the full rights. And he has the full right. Tommy, he has the full right on your body. I want to repeat this. He died so that he can have the full right over you. Full right. And if he has the full right, who is this uncircumcised Philistines? What are they doing in your life? He has the full right to occupy you. He has the full right for his mandate to be accomplished through you. I pronounce that the mandate for which you were born in the marketplace, in government seats, in being ambassadors shall arise in this house i say ambassadorial grace shall arise i say traveling grace shall arise so that you become a blessing poverty must check out jesus was rich but he chose to be poor so that you and I can claim the riches. Hallelujah. Oh, how I wish you were here on Friday. On Friday, we're reminded 
that Jesus was extremely rich because he says to the disciples as you walk you will find a man who will be carrying a jar instruct the man to prepare for us in the upper room that upper room was his one of his properties we serve a rich God I proclaim poverty under our feet I proclaim lack under our feet I proclaim it it does not have power hallelujah 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 believe you me you don't need to be validated by human beings Jesus is right there and he says you are my daughter you are my son you are my son you are my son hallelujah you are my son God is still gonna do marvelous things through you hallelujah when you don't get the accolades don't be bothered it's part of the training I went through it so I'm not sure the more they give you accolades there's a problem go and fast eh? when they hook up from there coming to you there is a problem you need Jesus because I don't see anywhere where Jesus stood and he was hookered to what he put back dignity unto us He put dignity unto little boys and girls. He puts dignity unto men. He puts dignity unto women. Hallelujah. You won't hear a man saying, I am the man of the house. When they speak like that, they've lost their position. When you hear a woman saying, I'm the woman of the house. So, so, so. Hallelujah. When you are a man of the house, you don't have to announce that you are a man of the house. Your wife will say, my Lord and my king. But when we cannot say, my Lord and my king, it is not personal. It is because spiritually out of the abundance, when your cloud as a man and a king and a queen has not been filled up, nobody is going to say it. I just spoke volumes right there. I say this thing is not personal. The fact that it is not coming out, it is because you are not qualifying. You are not qualifying. But who qualifies you? It's not your spouse. It's Jesus. Hallelujah. I say let the Lord Almighty kill these things that kill the vision. Because when the vision is dead, then we want to steal next door. Then we want to blame this one next door. May now I stand here. You dare blame me for your walk with Christ. I wish there was a, a stick. I was about to say you just dare blame me for your ineffective walk with Christ. Amen. Because I have been faithful with my God and my walk is my walk. It's personally mine and his. Hallelujah. As I sit down, how many people say I want to receive Jesus as my Lord and my Savior? You see, Some of you don't know the, the highest level of rebellion. I know what it is to, to, to have rebellion. That's real. And it is rebellion that makes us move out of position. When we rebel as children, we move out of position. When we rebel as wives, we move out of position. When we rebel to serve God, we move out of position. Hallelujah. So I am saying to us today, take your position. Take your position of power. Take your position of authority. I'm almost, today I'm good. I normally finish at two, but right now I'm finishing. How many people do not 